My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay This My Downfall. We're going to be going in with the Guardian on Ascension 10. Uh, it's just ritual at this point that I have to do that. Right. Obtain a curse for a random rare relic. Choose a colorless card to obtain. That could just be a boss card out by the base. Hmm. And I could try and go for a three leap path, utilizing the boss card to try and carry me through. Okay. Huh. Gain one strength at the start of each turn. Is that good enough? It might not be. It's quite slow. This character does have ways to utilize the strength, but they also have much quicker ways of gaining strength. Gives us some inevitability in early fights, at least. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to take it for safety. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh, well. What I would have uh, strongly preferred there is upgrading the Kakor was uh, my plan the entire time. For some reason, I just didn't do it. Not entirely certain why. Good event. Uh, I'm not going to be able to... Yeah. How do you deal 18 damage in a single turn? You don't? So we take seven damage overall. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. Ruby gain momentary strength. So emergency, accelerate card and stasis until it rotates in your hand. Recover. That would have the ability to try and put something like a core in stasis. I think I might take none of these. Be a little bit picky here early. While I can still afford to be. Cop five. Yikes. These louses mean business. Both of them doing their big attack on turn one. And turn two. Quantum Elixir, Aquamarine, as well as Amber. Aquamarine's pretty much always good. Maybe if I'd already taken something stasis related. But at least not now. I'm happy to over defend on that turn. And undefend by one on this turn for a bunch of damage. And he is attacking here as well. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get the core out. Taken five damage total this fight and got the kill. Okay, five damage against the Jawworms, fine as well. Mm, prismatic Beam that I can put some Aquamarines in. It's also something that the Kakor will actually enhance. It's a multi hit. Let's say until you have three slots, three times, choose one card to put into stasis. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use the Quantum Elixir here. I mean, turret beam will just deal damage for us. Sure. Guardian Quell could end up being the kill instantly for us. And Hyper Beam is also just like kill on a cool. It's only a timer. I'm pretty unlikely to be able to get into defensive mode for the sake of the Guardian well, though. That's the big problem. Well, hang on. No, it's not coming out next turn. So I'm still going to be short. Because we're going to get into curl up this turn. From our relic. So I play Kakor. And then here's hoping that we get curl up 
so that I can actually get into the Guardian. Oh my god, we got exactly that. Thanks, game. Um, it's not all the damage I would need, so I am going to have to use another card there as well. Okay, Hyper Beam gets the kill in two turns of time. Nice. Decent amount of damage taken there. We do get an Anchor, as well as Charge Up, Ancient Power, and Temporal Strike. Um, charge Up? Sure. I'm happy to use it. A 175 souls for Curse of Doubt here. I don't know if I really want to put Curses in this deck yet. Bronze Scales, start each combat with three Thorns. That's huge, giantly powerful. Cannot overlook that. Model the two highest cost cards in the hand. That may end up being what I have to do in order to try and play the Kakor when I draw it. Speaking thereof. Because I am going to need the strength if we're actually getting through this. Very vulnerable. Yikes. Really hope I find enough uh, offense this turn to win. Yeah, that's not going to be possible. Rough cycles. I mean, we also don't have much actual damage in the deck with that Prismatic Beam at the moment. There's as much block as I can generate. Yeah, we just don't have that much uh, aggression in the deck for taking out a Gremlin Knob in particular. Like, Lagavulin was going to be the best fight for us, and I was definitely taking a risk. Uh, okay, I can still only get one Elite down. Even with Yao's Lament, but I could go for a three Elite Path. Sure. Then the early recall or an upgrade on Twin Slam. I really like the early recall with this character. Twin Slam getting two strength is neat. Okay, so the Log of is not going to be the first elite food fight otherwise. Right down to gem with a multi beam. So, multi beam. I don't know if I said this after the episode that I used my uh, multi-beam, but just in case. Uh, multi-beam upgrades, and it shows you that it upgrades to increase your beam damage by two, but it also upgrades to deal plus one dam uh, X plus one uh, times damage to the enemies. Um, so what? I just constantly try and put multi-beam up and then upgrade it. Tick. Really want to do that? Yeah, sure. Like a stasis and multi beam deck. Yeah, unfortunately, Heart's Malice is gonna just make the shopkeeper flee, so I can't try and even go for them here. So I can't take this and then go and remove the curse immediately. Fine, I'm gonna have to split away from it then. Find some stasis support, please. Reroute. Place the next non-exhausting attack or skill you play this turn into stasis. Sure. More than happy to use that, as well as the multi-beam here. Yeah, so we'll break the ruby, get the strength, upgrade the multi-beam, and now we just have like a decent output of damage card. As well as the card that synergizes with the rest of the stuff that we want to do. Okay. Ideally, I take 10 damage this turn. So I'm going to defend and then reroute and then multi beam. Reroute multi beam is actually probably the best way to be handling. No, right. Sorry, I played the defend because I was like, it's going to increase the enemy strength, but unfortunately, of course, I forgot the. Apparently, for some reason, that it was uh, also going to defend me against incoming damage. I mean, look, we got straight to the meat on the bone. Let's let's pretend that was the plan the entire time. 
recover. This card from your discard pile is a stasis sense when I don't have the multi-beam. Like, I, I want things that don't prevent me from playing the multi-beam. And recover and reroute are the two best ways to do that. So, very, very glad to have both of them turn up. More bank. When you climb the floor, gain 12 souls. No longer worse when you spend anything to salt at the shop. I mean, I, I utilize shops a lot in this. And money means a little less in this. You get more money. So Sapphire Key. Yeah, I'm going to take the Sapphire Key. Probably not going to immediately break it. Well, actually, hang on. Yeah, that is the defect. Okay, I will actually immediately break it here. Then recover for three more block. Sure. I'm fine with that. Definitely got to play. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm playing. I don't want to try and steal those cards. Bronze armor. One artifact into defensive mode. Yeah. Even if I don't have a plan of using that for something specific. Turret beam. There's a purity there as well if I wanted to thin down the deck in play. Would I want to do that? This character doesn't have like huge amount of draw, so makes it a little harder to use. No, I'm just gonna look further. Found a walker claw. Don't really care about pairing that with anything, I think. Pass. Hmm. Put a strike into stasis. Put a defend into stasis. Have a defend come out in two turns time. Yeah, that's not bad. It's in case I wake up the enemy this turn. I guess I should still. I'll hold off on using the regen potion for a while. It's possible I get another regen potion and then get much more impactful effects out of it. All but two of the damage? It's either that or all but ten that we want to take. Okay, I'm gonna double defend, reroute a multi-beam to the top of the deck. Well, to the top of the deck to... Recharges there. I really wish I could play multi-beam and then use the recover afterwards. It has to be on a later turn for the recover. It's gonna get the damage out there. Feels pretty essential. Well, up, defend, defend, and a single strike is reasonable defense. And good, we found multi beam. Makes life a lot easier for us right there. Art of War, as well as Priming Beam, increase the damage dealt by beam cards by one this combat. More than happy to have a single Priming Beam in here as well. I actually can't full defend unless I use a defend there. But at least we found our kill. Incinerate versus Priming Beam. Second Priming Beam isn't bad. It's probably the amount of Priming Beams I put in the deck total, though. Incinerate is for getting the Multi Beam back out on the turn that I put it up. How's that work? Like, I play reroute, put the multi-beam up there, and then pull it back. The only way I can pull it back on the same turn is if I use recover to get the multi-beam uh, multi -beam back. I'll take the priming beam instead, then. Okay. Runs armor into a priming beam, and a... Yeah, just kill that front liner. I should try and ideally take one more damage here before the end of the fight. Yes, so I should be able to do that here. Let's curl up. 
recover a twin slam. I take two damage this turn. It activates the meat on the bone. And then we heal 12 at the end of the fight. Fierce Bash and Clone. Place this card into stasis. Tick, increase this card's damage by three. No, by the time that's good, we really ought to be fine with everything else. Clone, just copy a card. Or choose a card, rather. Place a copy of that card into stasis. That'd be a way to try and get multiple multi-beams going off. Fine. It's also just as versatile. If there's a different card that I think I really want more copies of, focus on that different card. So if I just straight up defend multi-beam, 54, no. So it'd be seven multi-beam. Yeah, so let's just going to straight up multi-beam, do nothing else. Take the seven, and then I need to take one more damage. Well, this is probably the best access to one more damage I have. Taking two here. Follow up the kill and move on. Emerald Incinerator Game. I think I'll hard pass all of that. Thank you. Bronze defense. Defense. Don't need to lose enough HP to have to warrant. Hang on. Yeah, it's have to warrant another turn like this. We'll curl up, clone, multi beam, defend, strike, and then multi beam for the full defense. We can use this recover to get back the other multi-beam. Use this multi-beam. And then we are totally, totally fine. 10 damage AoE. Four times over. It's another multi-beam. That's too much. It's too much. We need to now just find defense. And then the deck is already kind of sorted. Missing out on fire potion value because I was very attached to the regen potion. So I at least get to avoid the weakness from the acid slime this turn. Siren's going on outside. Apologies about that. Okay. So we cop six. But, no, we still don't even get the kill. Oh, uh, yikes. Take down one enemy and then take, I guess, another six damage. Hey, if nothing else, we got the meat of the bone activated, so I'm fine with that. And then with this thorns, we get you down, and then one multi beam. Repulsor, exhaust the first status or curse draw on each turn. Hmm. There's just not enough enemies that this matters. That is with right now. Another recover? No, recover's the hardest one of them to use because playing a multi beam before it takes all of the energy for using a recover. Hmm. Priming beam is not our clone target. This turn kind of plays itself. I just know how brutal the defect can be, and I'm kind of waiting, knowing it's about to happen to me, you know? 
Right, I'm gonna bronze armor. I'm actually gonna use the block potion this turn as well. Use reroute to put a priming beam back at the top of the deck. Not super keen on the fact that the multi beam is exclusively in the same hand as the recover, and that's at the bottom of the first cycle. Really needed more value out of that whole multi beam sitch, you know? Because now I can't. I can't get any reroute value out of this multi beam for this whole cycle. I can't get any recover value out of it. I can't clone it. It's rough. So while I lack the ability to do any of that, I have to focus on priming beams. That's like actually like not just worst case draw, but like terrifically awful like oh my god what the hell kind of bad luck draw like it's really really like i cannot overstate how bad that draw was and how unlucky that was There you go. I'm gonna take my lumps here. I'm gonna roll out the regen potion. I think I'm probably dead in this fight. I think that kind of got settled uh, when that first cycle was as bad as it was. This is a giant defensive turn for us. We played three defends, we played a curl up beforehand, and yet we're still gonna take a bunch of damage. I, I think I'm just comfortable at this point saying this enemy is overtuned. They're, they're too powerful. They just, they just are. Um. Ow. Cool. Multi-beam by itself at the very bottom of the cycle as well. No reroute, no uh, recover afterwards. So we we see multi-beam a total of what? Uh, three times in two cycles, we've always seen it after everything it could benefit from. I'm gonna reroute a recover. Recover or reroute. Set those up for another turn, I guess. Ow. There's the multi beam. 13, 13, six times is 60 plus 18, 78. That's enough to kill. Right? 13, six times. Use the energy potion. Yeah. Thank heck we were focusing on the priming beams. Uh, spot weak point would be for momentary strength. Gain momentary strength. Spheric shield gives us more time while we try and set up. Sure. I may be able to take the coffee dripper because of the meat on the bone. Gonna have to manage it in each fight. Gonna have to keep that anti-attrition up. As much as I want to go for the Emerald Elite on this floor, we have a path that is question mark. Oh, sorry. Uh, rest, Elite, rest, Elite, rest, question mark, Elite, rest. And I'm worried about whether or not the deck lives at this point based on that previous fight. Spheric Shield, three turns. Clone definitely wants to be upgraded. Mm -hmm. I mean, this just has to be double strike on the front line. Yeah. So, uh, strike, strike. So I'll throw a defend in two. Get him, boy. This curl up would give us the ability to uh, uh I'm gonna gambler's brew past these two. Hopefully the clone finds a good target. Nice, that's a good target. 
curl up, clone the multi-beam, play a defend, and then this multi-beam is not going to be enough damage to take out the Mag Ramblin by itself, sure, what's that there, and then use the multi-beam for the kill. So we take a bunch of damage, but we're pretty well set up. We recover a multi-beam, then I'm going to priming beam and reroute a multi-beam, and then next turn we get to kill. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Well, I guess I could play out all of the attacks if I really, really wanted to. Wait, what? 60? 70? Yeah. Yeah, this is six still triggers of these, so it's... The one we worked out before was 78. So actually, I do need to play all of these then. For as much block as I can get just from the... Uh, Yeah. For as much block as I can just get from the t -t 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 curl up. Down to half HP. We get the meat on the bone active. Could have been better, could have been worse. Toxic egg. Certainly helpful here. But do I put a piercing whale in the deck base on that? Probably not. It's a lot of stasis support we could still find that'd be useful here. Spheric shield. It is Pretty hard to find the right sound to play Spheric Shield at the moment. Still need more energy. Looks like this deck will take all of the energy I can possibly put into it, and then more happily. Let's get an Archibeko, right? Solve a lot of these fights instantaneously for us. Getting a priming beam up there is totally reasonable now. Yikes. Bronze, reroute the priming beam. Sad. I did not know we were going to be that close to lethal. I wonder if we had it. Kill the enemy and then uh, take my lumps. Time capacity three. No. Reprogram and planning. No, none of those. I don't want to fill the stasis slots. I want to put a specific card in the stasis slot a while, usually. Uh, choose one to put in stasis a little bit. Maybe pre-program can be that for us. Because then I don't have to, I still don't have to, rather, draw the card. Um, sure. Defend. Reroute. Multi-main. Ow. Curl up. Ow. So, six, six, five, so. I'm gonna pre program the. Oh, God, really? Put Spheric Shield up there, I think. Do eight damage to you. This goes to seven damage. Seven damage four times is. 28. Weakness. I didn't account for the weakness. Damn. Well, life is getting a lot harder for us right now. <laughs> Drop that multi-beam. Please find defense. Preserved insect. Not half bad. Uh, that Temporal Shield is draw two, nine block, and it's better when we have, uh, cards in stasis. I mean, look, that's exactly what we're looking for here. There is no path following this that does not run into at least one elite. So we'll take the one that tries to at least upgrade some of our deck before that happens. Get another artifact out of the Bronze Automaton. Uh, Bronze Armor, rather. Sorry. Yeah, that can matter. That could matter. Toy Ornithopter, whenever you use a potion to heal for five. Okay, give me potions. No. 200 souls for a single apparition or five apparitions for 49 max HP. I think we have to just go for the apparitions right now. I don't think we have a choice anymore. 
They also immediately come into the deck upgraded because of the Toxic Egg, so it's really hard to turn them down in any reason. For any reason, rather. Um, we can do this. One, two, three, four. We take three damage here. Guess I'll bronze armor. No real reason to do it or not. Unless I really wanted to save it for later, and that's not going to be the case. Pop out a couple apps here. Just know that we have the multi beam still left in the deck, so I'm going to leave it like that. That's the multi beam as well. Haven't got to recover for the possibility. Let's pre program a. Reroot up there in two turns? No. Clone up there for one turn time? I mean, it's possible that gives us an aberration. It's not bad. <sighs> no, I just defend as much as I can with the Spheric Shields. I'm gonna clone reroute. I think I did need another multi beam in this deck as well. I think earlier on I turned it down. I shouldn't have. Nine, but nine by three. Okay, that's good enough. And we're on half HP, so we get the maximum heal effect out of this as well. Ocean Belt as well as the Blessing of the Forge. There's a suspension. Draw a card. Place a card from your hand into stasis. Is that really what I need to do right now? And I don't play the multi-beam. Wow. Hmm. Three extra damage on the two priming. Honestly. Yeah. I guess. Uh, I'm gonna lose the 14 HP. Gimme. You gently, uh, sorry, you ruthlessly avoid the knight's attacks and kill him, sucking his souls out gleefully. The other knight screams and flees. What a coward. First time I've actually seen that of it. Snake plant. Snake plant can be very rough. I'm glad that I had the Block there on the first turn, but yeah, all it takes is one turn of not being able to block reasonably and we suddenly have a bad time. I'm going to do that for not only the healing, but I mean, uh, none of those hugely matter here either. Pop a spheric shield up there, I think. Just hoping it comes out early enough. I'm going to reroute a recover, then use the recover to get a reroute back, and then both of those are good to go for the future. We take no debuffs. Yeah, it's nothing clone. And then multi beam is in hand. Yay! Just gonna cast it for the win. <laughs> uh, speed boost accelerate five times. That's not nothing. Damn close, though. Ancient attack is just strengthening uh, the decks. Sorry, a strength in the decks, strengthen an artifact. We'll take the speed boost. I think we're going to try and pivot into more stasis value. Try and hex me now, huh? Exactly. Hmm. Just got Spheric Shield into Priming Beam. As much block as I should need for a little bit here. Especially compared, uh, or compared, uh, especially with the Apparitions, rather. Can I, can I get like the Multi Beam out early, like ever? It'd be nice. It'd just be nice to have it once, out early. 
Reprogram. Eh, there's a the multi beam and the clone is in the same hand as well, so I don't want to do anything here. Well, no, I could put the multi beam in and then it comes into my hand next turn anyway. Sure. Then I'm going to reroute and recover the reroute. Put both of those up there, giving me a good turn set up next turn. We've got, we've got it going on now. Because we clone multi. Hard play this one. Now look at the next turn. This is what I've been trying to set up. We... <laughs> I'm not going to even be able to execute it. We reroute the multi-beam. Yeah. It goes up there. And then I would reset the, the reroute back to the top of the deck with the recover. Quartz, draw a card. Okay, well, that just goes in some... Pre-program? Drawing a card after it does that impact? I mean, that's... Giant. Or... Is it not? Hang on. If Quartz does that on pre-program, we get an extra card in hand. Yip, 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 yip. But if instead we put Accelerate in this, pre-program fetches from the top six cards of the deck as well as includes increasing our beam card by two. Uh, so if we put an Accelerate in there and Amber instead. I mean, look, the Quartz could just go in Twin Slam. There's nothing wrong with that. But the alternative is this Vent Steam that's already pre-upgraded. Um, gives us a couple more slots to actually put things into as well. Some gems that might be valuable next floor. And also, vulnerability. We have no access to it in the deck yet. That seems the best access we can get. Take it while it's on offer, I guess. We got an apparition. We're fine. Okay, let's reroute a strike. Okay, and then speed boost all of these back. I mean, I shouldn't have speed boost. I should have played those both next turn. Yeah, after something like event steam seems like it would have been a good time. I'm fine to go below half HP here. Trigger our heal from the meat on the bone. Spheric apparition and then pre program. Let's pop that multi beam up there. It's entirely possible next turn I just play the multi beam for the kill. If I did, it'd look a lot like this. Ancient Power, Ruby, Priming Beam. Honestly, with something like the Toxic Egg in the deck, I wonder if you just take every Ancient Attack and Ancient Power and just scale off of those because they're just so good. Hmm. Clone an Apparition. And play one out for fun too. As I play enough of them, I'm totally fine. Priming Beam, Priming Beam, Strike. I mean, it doesn't matter if I speed boost or not here. Same impact either way, because it just adds to the stack. I'm going to pre-program here. Okay, there's the multi-beam. And then I can use Temporal Shield, drawing two cards here. Sphera can curl up. Multi-beam comes into the hand next turn. We have reroute in the next hand as well. So we're probably just going to reroute and play it. <laughs> yeah, that'll be exactly what I just said. Reroute. Play the multi-beam. And then next turn it kills all of the enemies for us. Beam damage do I really need to get? That was six and we were already feeling pretty good. 
sword into your hand. I mean, is that anything? Not really. It's another pre-programmed there. They've been serving to help us fix our draws. Appreciate that. I'm going to use the Swift Potion of the Extra Draw here to try and get Reroot. Nice, we found exactly Reroot. I'm going to use Curl Up and some Steam. Okay, and I'm going to Reroot Multi Beam. Also going to tick it out, play it again. Not just for the extra defense that that gives us, but so that the recover, which is the only other way to get it back now from the discard pile, has the ability to pick it up. Reprogram through a clone. Yeah, this clone play was bad. There's the recover, at least. Yeah, because the clone comes out in a turn before the recover. So I'm not going to be using this to get the multi-beam back out. I mean, this, this recover hits on the multi-beam next turn, and that's good enough. More than pleased with that. So we recover the multi-beam, making sure it's at the top of the next draw pile. Use a single apparition and then as much damage as we have. Yes, yes, your strength is very high. Throw all these out as well. Will I take three damage this turn? I'm totally fine with that. Gets us beyond our meat on the bone at the absolute least. Spheric Shield, Temporal Shield feels like a decent turn as well. I can't just run out all the apparitions super early here. Ouch! That... Right, I forgot. Can't, can't rely on the... The shown impacts the uh, pre program in the next hand, I guess. The I'm gonna just clone the prime, uh, priming beam. I think it's beyond time to just accept that. Okay. I'm gonna pre program a apparition, recover to get back a. Multi-beam as well. Use speed boost in order to get all of those back out of hand. Play the apparition. Use a priming beam, and then we reroute the multi-beam, getting it back to the top of the deck. Or rather, the top of the stasis. Giving us the ability to possibly just play it. No, we're weak into this turn, okay. I mean, I'm taking something out of the next draw pile here. I'm just going to get rid of the vent steam and just go full damage next turn. Why silent? Well, that is a question, isn't it? I mean, Revenge Protocol is like gaining three beam stack or three increased beam damage every other turn. Time Sifter, obviously, has value to us if we want to put pretty much any cards into Stasis. Stasis Engine isn't even awful here. If I knew that this counted when played for zero as a zero cost card for the sake of Stasis, Maybe I'd be on it.
take the time sifter, I think, here. Uh, I do just want extra energy, so all of these are pretty great. I'm gonna take the cursed key, though. Hopefully you only end up with one curse as a result of it. Easily remove that thereafter. Uh, okay, never mind. We don't have the ability to go to the final boss. I saw this last floor that, that this was possible, but... But chose to risk it anyway. Yeah, because I can't break the Emerald Key after that. I'm going to make Time Sifter a nade. I think the journey of this floor is going to be adding just a bit more stasis. Okay. Time Sifter into Apparition. We'll pre-program getting... God, what do we even want up there? Strike, and then I'm going to recover the pre-program. I guess we get a strike back this time, as well as the pre-program. There's our multi-beam. We found it. Let's use temporal shield for the draw before we do anything else. Speed boost that beam back out. That multi-beam and the spiker don't mix well together. Re by that. Okay, that's good enough. So we kill the backline target. We only end up taking three damage ourselves this turn. We got some damage out on the spiker as well. We needed to do that just in case we didn't get apparitions in this turn. Because that would have been real awkward. Just getting blown up instantaneously like that. Yeah, second molting beam. Second multi-beam is really what this deck needs. As well as an upgrade on it, obviously. It's just the top two cards of your drawing to stasis. Do we really want to do that? Is that really, really what we're going to do? Let's put random extra cards into stasis. I'm going to put suspension in the deck. Specific cards. What help us the best? Yikes. Well, there's a lot of apparitions coming in next turn, at the absolute least. Good to see. Get a recovery up there. And let's block for a little, because yikes. Because yikes, you see. You see apparitions. I may even just recover the priming beam. Okay. Priming beam. Reroute this priming beam. Speed boost that priming beam back out. Four increase on that. Maybe it is all just priming beam in this build. All right, suspension gets blown. Okay, I'm going to put that up there. Don't draw the multi-beam. Of course we drew the multi-beam. Why would we not have drawn the multi-beam after I said that? It only makes sense, you see. Would have had clone in the next hand for the multi beam, would have been great. Just gonna get the intangibility for two more turns and hope that I can kill. Because really, I. <sighs> Wait. I pre program. Okay, we didn't find what I was looking for. Let me get a burn out of there because I'm worried. Yep, none of, none of this is working, and... Uh... Yikes. Thank heck that helped us with our block. Got two damage we have to do this turn. There we go, reroot and twin slam. We got him. Hurt like hell to do so, though. Two decks while in defensive mode, which persists for one turn after you play that. I think I'm fine. I don't think I can get good value out of this. 
That is to say, out of the normality. So I'll fight myself and see if we get something good enough here. Um... Huh. I can't put any of these up into stasis, so then I can use the temporal shield. Wild. Let's go bronze into time sifter into spheric shield. Build up as much defense as possible. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, this this is this is good though. Clone the multi-beam. The multi-beam goes up to the top. I'll use a recover to get a root up there as well. Draw a priming beam out before the multi. Apparition into defend. We use a vent steam before we just reroute the multi again. Don't have reroute back up there. Any other ways? Not really. That said, by this point, it's already done a pretty sizable impact. Doesn't have to be there constant. Perfect. Should be able to find the damage in the next hand because I left myself with some, 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 some damage in the next hand? No, I didn't. Apparently. Pop that up there and then yeah, get the multi-beam up there guaranteeing the kill next turn. Nice. My guardian. One Guardian must die, so the other Guardian can live. Time capacitor. Not relevant to us. I mean, none of these either. I'm just holding on to the money so this shop goes off. I guess. Uh, upgrading cards no one really does too much for us either. I'm gonna dig. Blood Vile, the start of each combat, heal for 2 HP. More pain upgrades, two cards for us as well. We get a decay that we're going to have to remove from the deck upcoming. Uh, I'm probably going to reroute the suspension here. And when I say probably, I mean I'm about to do it because I'm doing it right now. Let's suspend another card just to... Let's get the defend on here. Just to enable the draw from the Temporal Shields. Double Apparition. Look, those are only really going to be relevant later. Try and leave them for as long as we can. Hmm. Top six cards of your draw pile. She's one to put in stasis. I'm just going to skip the pre-program ahead for an extra turn. Get the enemy below half health and pass. Okay, bronze armor. Pre-program. I mean, I can pre-program possibly a spheric shield here. That'd be great. Get the spheric shield. Nice. Speed boost that out onto the field. Now we should basically just be comfortable for the rest of the fight. Let's curl up, clone the recover. Use the first one just to get the d -d 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 multi beam back. About a double defend because there's no reason not to. This goes in the first discard, and then the recover has the ability to bring. It oh, second recover has the ability to bring it back. Great. Uh, yikes. Kind of hoping I would have more defense on this turn. 45 incoming. I'm blocked against 40 right now. Yikes. The defense. About that multi beam. Bring it back. And here's hoping we found enough damage, right? 
defense team is always going to be part of this. 2100. I mean, we're short still. We've got four apparitions in the deck. We just can't draw them for the absolute life of us. Are we actually just going to... I think we do just suddenly die right now. I, I, I'm going to heal up as much as I possibly can because I'm pretty sure that it's like... It's just going to happen. And there's... The apparition was the next card as well. We're alive. Pre-program a beam, pull that out, then kill with it. We're alive. Pantograph and a multi-beam. Okay, well, maybe it's time to turn this all around. I've seen later turnarounds. Not many, admittedly, but I have seen later ones. Thank you, Tungsted God, for saving us from that damage. Spheric into priming. Let's use a pre-program on... We don't want to get the apparition out for that many turns. Vent Steam, I guess. Help defend, and then a multi-bane. Really love that, but... Oh, to stay alive somehow. Boral shield for nothing. So we have another multi beam in there. If, I mean, that multi beam is already a kill on the frontline target, that is. I... Can I kill this turn? I pre-program a strike. And then I speed... No. No, clone a pre-program. Pre-program a strike. Use a speed boost, getting that pre-program out of the deck. Use another pre-program on... A recover, and then... Double apparition. Just trying to make sure that until we find the next multi-beam, we are full defended. Constantly. That'll do it. Really? He found more pre-programs? Guess I did copy it, so joke's on me. Get suspension out of there. Speed boost my way past all of those looking for a... Uh... I mean, I know the top cards of the deck, so I guess I shouldn't have really been surprised by the pre-program, right? There you go. We found a way to dig deep enough to actually get to the multi-beam now, rather. Finally. Spiked energy drink. As well as a nemesis. To recover again in the opening hand. Okay, we're getting to the point that the amount of bad draws that I've had means that I'm not actually having bad draws. I'm playing badly. You don't just draw this bad constantly. You had a fund... You. I had a fundamental under, uh, misunderstanding in how I was setting up the deck. Okay. The multi-beam. Oh, never mind, I'm actually dead this turn, though. Yeah, this one actually uh, kills the crab. <sighs> well. Can't say we didn't try our absolute darndest there. Apparitions are really the only reason we got as far as we did. We should have been dead ages ago. <sighs> I 
I kept adding things to try and fix that deck. I think I honestly think I need to go away and think a bit about as to what was hugely missing from that deck. Obviously, the sequencing was really, really, really rough. I, I honestly should have just, I think, in retrospect, obviously, retrospect hindsight 2020, um, picked up every ancient attack and every ancient power that I've seen. I also think I should just do that in typical, right? They're not just glue cards. They are themselves great scaling. As well as artifacts, which is just great more, sc uh, more great scaling for you, right? For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire Downfall. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. So, so play this in the description down below with all of my contents of the game path for us in the future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.